morning grade fours. I miss all of your friendly faces and I hope you're all keeping safe at home. Uh, guys, I thought about sending you some maths pages today in, from your blue books that you can do at home. And the pages I'd like you to do today, you'll find in your term two maths books on page 76 and page Seven, uh, yeah, page 76, 77, 78, and 79. All right. Guys, what I'd like you to do on your in your first activity, we're going to be getting some thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. We've got all of our flawed cards put together. And what they'd like you to do is they would like you to take your thousands, hundreds, tens and units and they want you to put them all together and build your total number. So like for example everybody, the first one is they've, they've actually helped you out. They've said a thousand plus five hundred plus ninety plus three. Now guys, when we put them together, remember we always start with our thousands first, then our hundreds, then our tens, and then our units. So say to yourself, how many thousands have I got? Right. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We've got a thousand plus two hundred plus ninety plus three. Right guys, we've got one one thousand so we would write down a one and then we have got a we've got five hundreds so we've got five hundreds we've got ninety so nine tens and we've got three units so we're going to write down our three and we're going to get a total of one five nine three i do i am sorry for the backwards number numbers i haven't quite figured out how to turn around my camera yet and i don't want these videos to be too disruptive right then guys as you move along your page so you're going to do those all for me remember guys if you don't have a, a certain flawed card in that space if you look at your nice colorful cards that help you if you don't have a number there like like you're missing a 10 or you're missing a unit or you're missing a hundred remember then you must still put a zero okay right then guys what I'd like you to do is in your table on number two they have given you some numbers and they want you to just simply write down how many thousands does that number have how many hundreds how many tens and how many units so if we look at 1234 we have one one thousand we've got two hundreds three tens and four units careful don't add your zeros and things like that when when you write down those numbers then guys when you move on to number three you're going to look at those numbers those numbers that were given to you in number two and you're going to write down the numbers in question two in words so you must use your number name so like the first one for example is a thousand two hundred and thirty four so you would write in words one thousand two hundred and thirty four maybe try not write too big just as you might run out of space then guys when you move on to number four you're going to use the first question to help you out. So when we look, so they've actually helped you out with the first one. They've given you 1,456 and they want you to write down in words and numbers all the different components that you have. So like the first one they've helped you, we've got 1,000. So you haven't just written a one, you've written the, the word two. So one and the word thousand four and the word hundreds five and the word tens and six and the word units all right then guys moving on you're going to look at page 78 for me and you're going to look at the numbers 
and you're going to arrange them from the smallest to the biggest so try and look at your array of your arrangement of numbers that you've been given and find your smallest number and then work up to your biggest numbers all right then guys when we get to number two they talk about less than and greater than. Now, some of you might find this a little bit tricky, but don't worry, I'm going to teach you a trick. Guys, if they give you two numbers, look at those two numbers and say to yourself, which is my bigger number? And then guys, what you're going to do is, I've got a little crocodile here to help you. I thought it would be fun. guys. When the mouth of the crocodile is open, it means he's a very hungry crocodile. He wants to eat the biggest number. So always make sure that your open V is munching the biggest number for bigger than. All right. And then always make sure that the number that is the smallest, you'll see on your V there, you've got the little little tip top of your V of your of your V here your sort of your sign here you've got this little sort of crest where the two points meet that little sort of tip of your V's guys that sort of little tip of your V's must always face the smallest number okay I hope that helps then guys when we move on to number three you're going to tell me what the value of the underlined digit is. So number A, they give us 849. Your 9 is underlined, so say to yourself, is it a 100, is it a 10, or is it a unit? You thought right, I'm sure you all remember it's a unit. So guys, you would write down 9. But when you get to hundreds that are underlined, you would have to write like 400. Like Don't forget your zeros. Or your thousands. Don't forget your zeros. Okay. And then, guys, lastly, for number four, you're going to have some fun with four numbers that they've given you. And you're only allowed to use each number one time. Okay. So, guys, they want you to look at three, nine, two, and six. Now ask yourself, using those numbers, what is the smallest number with four digits that I can make? So you have to think about this quite carefully. So for example, if you said it was 900, sorry, yeah, if you said it was 9,263, that's not really possible because that's actually a rather big number. So make sure that you sort of stick to your smaller numbers. Say to yourself, what is my smallest number there that I can write down? My smallest four-digit number. So we'll have thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. And then you guys, you're going to, number B, you're going to try and make the biggest number you can using those same numbers that you've been given. And then... Um, if you going back to making a small digit number again, they get being a little bit lenient this time. They're letting you use the same number two times. So if you'd like to use two and two again or three and three again, that's up to you. And the same thing with your largest. You can use each number two times, two times, two times, two times, up to you. All right. And then, guys, what you're going to do is, for the last part, it says, find the matching card and color it in the same color. So they have done the first one for you. So, guys, they've given you some numbers there. Um, and you need to try and color them in. So, for example, the first one that they gave you was four tens and seven units, which is the same as saying 47. So you then had to look at the bottom and find 47 and color them in both the same color because they match up to each other. The next one is four thousands and seven units, which means you haven't got tens. So you've got thousands, you haven't got tens, and you haven't got 
Yes, you haven't got hundreds and you haven't got tens. You've only got thousands and you've got units. So don't forget, you still need to have numbers in those missing spots. And that it's, is, remember, if it's not a number, you do always have to add a zero just to make sure that it still is represented as thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. Okay. Right, guys, I am very sorry for this very long winded video, and I hope that. I'm able to help you a little bit. Um, good luck and I hope you have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.